morning guys welcome to today's video it is currently 7 a.m. and I have taken to having breakfast out on the porch I actually love it out here I love the blind now I love my dog sitting with me Ruby is my dog too I love my blanket I, I just love this thing it is so soft so nice and it's actually not as small as you'd think but I sit out here and have my breakfast every morning now. Well, actually I alternate between here and the horse paddock. <laughs> and that's Ellie's cute butt. <laughs> she hasn't had her hair brushed yet. I should put my hair brushing stuff out here so that I can brush her hair. But I'm still loving it. This is what it looks like in the early morning hours. I wasn't sure I'd use this space so much, but I'm obsessed. I do all my little TikTok videos. Or my short videos. No. What's Gabby doing? Curling her eyelashes. Curling her eyelashes. <laughs> it's actually so sad how sad Molly gets when Gabby goes to school. It's supposed to be another scorching hot day. And the power's out. Why is the power out? It's the hottest day of the year too. Now that the horses have to come in a bit earlier at night, it's better to put them out earlier in the morning. I have the strongest desire to just open this coop and let the, the chickens out today. Dad said to do that too. Dad said to do it? Alright, let's do it. Let's let them out. Are you catching them? The like at night time it'll be hard. But no, let's try free ranging just a little bit today. I'm not catching them. <laughs> You've got a net? <laughs> this is new. This is outside my comfort zone and they might not come out with all the dogs. Alright, so we're just going to leave all the doors open and see what happens. They're like, hmm, what is happening here? They're all getting excited. I can just tell I'm gonna regret this, but you know what? We're gonna come like long before dark and put them in, like we'll put I them in. I my silkies in happen. All right, so <laughs> Sophie's not taking any risks with her silkies. <laughs> First one out is the rooster. Oh, second one out. It's a baby we hatched. Oh, they're all coming out now. We literally have no power. It's the weirdest thing. Just, it just stopped working. So the horses had fans all night. But it's nice and cool right now. Huh, Pen? If it doesn't get too hot, we'll go for a ride today. You need a fly mask guy. Somehow I left my bucket out here last night. That was not good. So we tried to leave. Penny and Willow out here in this little barnyard for the night two nights ago and what ended up happening was that after they ate up all the food uh, Penny tried to break in back in with all her friends so with the other two so it didn't work out I think we could probably get them to a point that they would stay out here together this is the first time my dog ever was chasing the barnyard animals like seriously chasing them. She's typically afraid of goats. <laughs> Ellie has the zoomies. Willow's coming to tell her off. Don't go near her. Uh-oh, you better run, Ellie. I spend a lot of my time on this farm telling <laughs> Ellie to run. Oh my gosh. Get out, Ellie. Get. Go, <laughs> oh, Ellie, run. Get in there. Get in the barn. <laughs> Any of you guys don't know, Ellie is the little princess dog that I bought that I was hoping would enjoy the being on the farm, but that would be like a lap dog and would just sit with me all day. And while she does do that, <laughs> she's also a crazy little messy dog that swims in all the water troughs. She swims in the duck pool. <laughs> she chases the barnyard animals. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> it is already so hot outside. I'm already pouring sweat and I haven't hardly done anything. But you guys, when, when I chose Ellie's name, my niece said, my niece Julia said, you have to name her Ellie. And it really just stuck with me. I really liked it. And what's really funny is that Ellie to me is such a country name. And this dog is such a country dog. How's it going? So Sophie's beautiful, beloved silkies are all in their pen outside. You brought their food out too? No. You should bring their food out. The big chickens are making their way outside. <laughs> Ellie, I have always dreamed of free ranging our chickens. And when we moved here and I contemplated it because there's a way that we could probably free range them in the horse paddock. So many people tried to talk us out of it. What? So I let my fear get the better of me. I'm especially worried that they're going to run down to the road. I've seen so many dead chickens on roads near us. Ellie, get away from the chickens. I gave them pizza crust. Ooh, the rooster got her. Ellie's like, come on. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> please don't turn out to be a bad rooster. Yeah, please don't turn out to be a rat, bad, bad we rooster. We're not going to have a rooster. He's so not. So well, he, she was attacking his little girls. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. Look at, they're carrying stuff around. All right, so school's canceled. <laughs> There's no power. There's a power outage. So tell me about the power outage. Is it like all the whole city, just our area? Big part of our area. Is Gabby's school affected? All her school this year is online, but there's things that you can do. You can go uh, write out your spelling words from yesterday. The dogs don't care that there's a power outage. It's extremely hot. If the power doesn't come on, we're about to get heated out of this house. And I really want to know what we're going to do for breakfast because I'm really hungry and I was craving a sausage and egg. Not going to lie, we're obsessed. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. This was my dream all along, was to walk out the door and have the chickens be so excited to see us. All right, we're a free ranging family now, you guys. I'm, I'm like, I just don't want any to die. Please don't die. This was one of the babies that we hatched. All right, let's go get treats. Also one, and then the old Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. You guys, I can't explain how this, we should have went right to the big farm, right from, from living in town to a big farm and had the full experience. But we went small and tried to figure out if we liked farming. But this has been literally life changing. Before, but you are the love of my life. I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life. We came out because Storm will put off the alarms. Where's Penny? It always makes me nervous when one horse doesn't come back. Uh, anyways, he set the alarm off because he was rubbing his face on the wall to take his mask off. So this is the last day of the heat wave. Literally, we clean this up every single time we're out here. Every time. And it's such a disgusting mess. Wait, okay. So anyways, we came out to put the horses out on grass because uh, we've been putting Chino and Willow on grass. We're trying to integrate them in, back into the grass. <laughs> Look at our duck and our goose. They're like, you're here. Um, but it's so hot. I said, Sophie, we better not do it. Chino's probably in the, in the barn. Nope, he's out there eating. Still has lots of hay in his trough over here. So he's actually choosing to eat out there. And anyway, so I was like, let's not do it because it's too hot. We'll wait till after Gabby gets home and it starts to cool down. And she said, no, let's do it. Let's put them out there because there's shade. We're leaving their halters on. And then, <laughs> tell them why we're leaving this, the halters okay, on. I left Will's halter on yesterday and I still can't. <laughs> Chino's catchable though. 
we came out here and Sheena was outside. So I'm like, let's do it. There's Penny. Where's Gracie's fly mask? Oh my gosh. These, these horses. So Chino's still with no, nothing on his feet. And he's doing well. Sophie and I both honestly I believe. Ooh, yeah. Good boy, Ooh. Yeah, Sophie gave me the easy one. And I'm, I didn't say, no, Sophie, I can handle Chino myself. I said, okay, thank you. you can't I can't. But the thing is, I just will, I mean, Chino more than Storm when we bring them to a new place. Yeah. Anyway, oh, we should bring the chairs out too, because that's not good. If anybody's going to get hurt in a field, it would be Chino. So we brought them in this way because yesterday they were kind of in the sun. I wanted them to see that he could um, go I'm in the shade. This way. <laughs> He's like, wow, there's <laughs> chickens. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't think I got it on camera, but the chickens are right out here. And he was like, what in the world? <laughs> Anyway, it's true. Yesterday when we came to put the horses in, Willow put the run on Sophie. <laughs> it was so funny. In the heat. So I just said, Molly, go get her. And she brought her to me. So I don't want him going in there either. Chino, don't go anywhere that is not safe. Nothing's hard. Everything is easy. With you. Everything is easy when you come around. Oh, oh, now. I missed it. I took water out for them and I missed it. But Penny was standing at the fence and Chino was standing at the fence. And I said, Penny, he's getting closer to you. He's getting closer. I said you must be the love of my life 